cell references. The cell addresses in a formula are also known as cell references. There are mainly three types of cell references as listed. Relative cell reference Relative cell reference can be explained in terms of the position of a formula relative to the cells. So, when you copy or move a formula, then the referenced cell or cells automatically get or gets changed. For example, if the formula in cell D3 is equal to B3 asterisk C3, and when you copy the formula from D3 to D6, Excel automatically changes the reference to match the locations of cells that is equal to B4 asterisk C4, B5 asterisk C5 and so on. To use relative cell reference, follow the given steps. Select the cell in which you have written a formula. Take the cursor to the right corner of the cell. The autofill handle symbol will appear. Drag the autofill handle over the cells to copy the formula. Release the mouse. The formula will be copied to the selected cells with relative references and value will be calculated accordingly. Absolute cell reference. Absolute cell reference is used when we do not want to change the address of a cell while copying the formula to another cell. To make absolute reference of a formula, add dollar sign before the row number and column number like equal to dollar a dollar one plus dollar a dollar two. For example, Follow the given steps in order to use the absolute reference of cell C1. We are calculating 10% discount on the price of books. Type 10% in the cell C1. Click the cell E5. Type the formula equal to D5 asterisk dollar C dollar 1 and press Enter key. The cell E5 displays the discounted value. Note, here we are using the absolute reference of cell C1. Therefore, when the cells will be copied, the first cell reference of each cell will get changed, but the second cell reference of the cell remains constant. Now, drag the autofill handle to calculate the discounted value of the rest of the books in other cells. Mixed cell reference Mixed cell reference is a combination of relative and absolute cell references. In this, either a row or a column remains constant. Dollar $A1 plus $A2 is an example of mixed cell reference. Consider the following example of calculating the final price of items. To understand the concept of mixed cell reference, we are calculating the final price of items. Type 10% in cell 1. Click the cell where you want to display the final price of items. Type equal to $D5 minus E$5 in the selected cell. Press Enter key. The result will be displayed in the cell. Now, drag the mouse pointer to calculate the final price of other items. In the above example, the column will remain constant in the first reference, whereas row will remain constant in the second reference.